check it. Hey yo, what up? You are back for another video with Data Zero. This is one of the best weekly updates and predictions that I think I have done in a long time. It is very clear and concise and to the point. I think that the predictions made on this video are going to be highly accurate. Again, only time will tell and you guys can be the judge. Let me know in the comments down below if you hold any crypto because we do talk about crypto as well in this video. Let me know if you hold AMC or GME stock in the comments down below. Again, you're going to want to watch the end of this video because it's cram packed of information that you need to know in a great outlook on what I think we're expected to see based off the charts, the facts, and the technicals for this week. Let's not waste any more time and hop in the charts, the facts, the data. Let's go. All right, guys, what is up? You are back for another video with Data Zero. In this video, we're looking at AMC, GME, and SPY stock. This video is not financial advice and should not be taken as such. Please do your research and due diligence before buying any stock or crypto asset. We're also going to be looking at Bitcoin and cryptocurrency in this video. This is the weekly outlook. This is basically where I give you an outlook and prediction for the whole week on what I'm expecting based off the charts in my research. Please do your own research and due diligence before investing into anything. Now, Let's go ahead and hop in and show you guys what we got going on. I just want to point out quickly on cryptocurrency, what's popping off in the markets, what I expect to see um, throughout the rest of the week. So basically, Bitcoin had came down to about $50,000 even. So being uh, $50,000, 500, I do apologize, $50,000, 500, and then seeing a pop to the upside. You guys can see that I kind of have this yellow line here showing you guys that support and resistance here. Now, Bitcoin has a critical level that if it breaks above, you're going to see a decent pop to the upside. What is that level? That level is $52,500. If we see Bitcoin break above $52,500 and using that as support, you're going to see a big move to the upside. So what do I mean by using it as support? You need to see Bitcoin's price go above that level of $52,500 and use it as support, confirming it not once, twice, maybe three times, then bouncing to the upside and starting to move away from that price and that is going to be confirmation of a much bigger move to the upside for btc as it will see a major pop to the upside breaking that level so that's what we're looking at for btc if it breaks below 48,000, 48,000, you're going to see a decent move to the downside to about 42,000 because we did have a big push to the upside our base is down here at about 42,000. so if we do break those critical levels of support we're going to have to come back down and retest these lower levels so that's what i'm looking at for btc i do think overall the bull run will continue i think it's going to go into an overall um rally and reach at least eighty thousand dollars per coin in my personal opinion I believe Bitcoin is going to be reaching about $80,000 per coin. Now, let's go ahead and show you guys what Ethereum is doing as well. Ethereum, if it can manage to break above the levels of $3,000, $3,000, Ethereum will also see a decent pop to the upside. You're doing the same thing as Bitcoin. So basically, you need to see it break above, confirm that level as support, and you're going to start seeing a bigger move to the upside for ethereum so ethereum also has a critical level of support that we're watching it seems like both of these assets are trying to consolidate hold these levels and then move to the upside so it does look like this bullish move is going to occur possibly even this week we could see it happen but we could see a little bit more consolidation the first half of the week and then in the later half of the week possibly see this move i'm very interested to see what happens when the market opens and the weekend is over the weekend is normally a little bit more stagnant movement and then during the week we have a little bit more volatility so again i'm waiting to see what happens in the cryptocurrency market during this week um, so that's what we're looking at for the overall cryptocurrency market. Again, altcoins doing pretty well throughout the week um, and throughout today in general. Over the weekend, we are seeing some gains in some of these altcoins, um, as you guys can see here uh, on the crypto bubbles chart. Now, let's go ahead and move into the overall market and show you guys what's going on for uh, SPY and then, of course, our favorite meme stocks. So SPY did come up to about that 510 level that we talked about in our last couple of videos and last couple of live streams. We did talk about 510 coming up and then possibly being a peak to go back to the downside. And that is looking like we are seeing. So 
as you guys can see we came up to about 510 which we talked about yesterday made a little bit of a bear flag after topping out and then continue to the downside what it looks like is going to happen is we're probably going to have to come back down and fill some of this gap if not all of the gap it looks like we're losing a lot of momentum and again spy keeps experiencing the same problems over and over again because we're reaching a top we're reaching a point where there's really no room to run and how do you know that we're reaching a top you never know exactly where it's going to be but rsi is a great indicator so we're seeing bearish divergence here in the daily time frame as price continues to drift to the upside which it will during a divergence you'll see price continue to drift 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 until it does eventually correct again bearish and bullish divergences always play out it's just when do they play out price will drift in the direction that it's going until the divergence kicks in and when it kicks in it will cause a large reaction so that is setting up again for a move for a correction to the downside you can also see that volume is in an overall downtrend down here is your volume bars you can see that we had this spike here but if you look overall downtrend with increasing price that's also showing signs that we're going to see a correction as well with some deviation inside the volume also, I do think that we're going to be seeing SPY start to move back to the downside again to fill that gap, like I was saying here just a little bit ago, possibly forming a head and shoulders. As you guys can see right here is your shoulder, right here is your head. If we do pop back to the upside, which I think SPY is going to do, I think it's going to come back up and retest about 508 and then get rejected. If this is what does play out here on Monday, what you're going to see is a head and shoulders play out and you're going to see further continuation to the downside because we had this big leap up so there's little to no support there you're going to see a move back down to at least 503 and if you bake 503 you're going to see a move back to the downside to about 494 so that's what i'm looking at for spy i think this could occur this week it does look like we are looking a little bit toppy to be honest in um, my opinion for spy as you guys can see we have this massive gap filled down here that will get filled rsi is pretty hot on the daily time frame as you guys can see RSI sitting at about 68 on the daily time frame and then of course on the weekly time frame sitting at 76 and if we zoom out even further you guys will see on the monthly time frame the monthly time frame is almost overbought as well again showing signs that we will reach a top and have an overall correction to the downside filling these gap fills all the way down to about 409 at minimum you can see there's a gap fill at about 412 49 in that range um, and we will see a correction back down to fill those gaps because gaps do get filled on the chart so this is what we're looking at for spy um, in the overall market what i think we could expect throughout this week is actually a little bit more bearishness i'm expecting that retest of 508 um, and then a pullback to the downside now what happens when we get back down to those lower levels that is yet to be determined will we get a bounce and continue up but again with these high levels of rsi little to no room for spy to run so it does look like we are nearing a top in my personal opinion um, again, where is that top going to be? We're not exactly sure as of yet, but this does look very, very similar to what I've seen in other assets when they do start to top out. So if we do see a big move to the downside, that would be a definite sign that we're definitely putting in that top that we are looking for, in my personal opinion, um, to see a correction further down. Also, if you look at the market fear and greed, market fear and greed is um right now extremely elevated we're in extreme greed again you always want to do the opposite of the herd i know some people in the short term are looking for these bullish swings to the upside but as an overall investor you want to be hedged against this correction that we do think is coming now let's go ahead and go into the overall meme stocks i do think spy will see an overall bearish week and i'm looking for a red candle print on s p y now let's go ahead and go into amc amc stock and show you guys what's going on for AMC and GME. Um, so GME in a bit of a falling wedge. GME has shares available to borrow 250,000. AMC shares available to borrow is sitting at about 450,000. Again, this could change as early as of Monday. Um, as far as what news we can expect coming out, okay? So on Tuesday, we have durable goods. On Wednesday, we have GDP growth. That is going to be absolutely huge. We're going to be looking for volatility then, and that could correlate with the move to the downside on SPY, especially if you don't see a higher high on that. And the forecast is 3.3, and the previous was 4.9, so that would be a drop in quarter over quarter um, GDP growth, which would be a little bit bearish for the market. We do have PCE coming 
in as well and then ism coming as well but the biggest event that we're going to be seeing is probably the gdp numbers on wednesday and then pce is pretty big on thursday but again i think the biggest thing for this week that you want to be aware of as far as the overall market is concerned is um gdp growth now again back to the meme stocks i just wanted to put that in there real quickly again 450,000 shares available to borrow on amc 250,000 shares available to borrow on a gme now let's go ahead and go into the technical showing you guys what is going on and what i expect we think we could see based off the charts the technicals and the data so you guys can see that gme stock is in an overall falling wedge this gives us a little bit of a dilemma but it gives us a light at the end of the tunnel the dilemma is that gme could possibly be putting in a lower low lower than 13 dollars and 12 cents well why do i say that well as you guys can see gme is trying it's trying to make a bit of like a bottom right here you can see bottom one bottom two possibly bottom three right here which would be a triple bottom possibly have to retest that here um in the am tomorrow if we do not break above the sloping resistance at 13 dollars and 67 cents so you want to see gme break above 1365 1367 around that range and use that as support if gme can manage to do that you're going to see a pop to the upside out of this wedge but if not we're going to see a bigger move to the downside and let me explain why because if we get to the end of the day here and we cannot get above those key levels and start holding support then you're going to see a move down to a lower low to about twelve dollars and eighty cents for GME stock as it fills out the rest of this uh, falling wedge and then breaks back to the upside. It is still in its overall shape for doing its disbelief rally as long as it makes a lower, a higher low than $11.83. So as long as we don't make a lower low than that, that is okay. If we did make a double bottom off of that, that would be bullish as well. But what we really want to see is a higher low we want to see a higher low than that start to form that and it looks like that's what we're going to get out of this falling wedge regardless if we break out here this week or have to go later on to next week and then break out later in the later half of the um next week coming up so again this is a move that's going to play out over one two three four so it's going to be this week that we're going to see this either move to the downside retesting about twelve dollars and eighty cents or holding support and breaking out and then able to see us move to the upside to about fill the gap at $14.50 where a lot of gamma remains and then also $15 where there'll be a lot of gamma as well. So that's what we're looking at for GME stock. This is the technical setup that we have for this week, okay? So again, we want to see the break of the falling wedge to the upside above $13.67. Use that level of support, and then we'll see a pop to the upside for GME. If not, we will be retesting the low of about $12.80 and then getting a bounce from there. What I'm seeing on the charts overall, it does look like GME wants to hold, but I don't like the bearishness on the daily MACD. So again, we could see that move down to about $12.80 on GME stock and then see the bounce filling these gaps to the upside, in my personal opinion. If we go ahead and look at trading view, trading view is also very telling because GME stock has buy orders around that level of about $12.50, $13 in these lower levels down here. So it is very telling that that wedge might end up playing out and we could see those lower lows so that's what we're looking at for gme stock as far as what i think we could put in for candle i do think it might be an overall red week for gme stock unless we break out of this wedge so i'm thinking that we could see one more red week for gme stock before seeing a green candle in my personal opinion now let's go ahead and move into amc and show you guys the amc setup that we have as well similar to gme but not quite the same again gme is in a falling wedge um, and then of course it's still doing its v-shape recovery and following its depression as well that will lead us out of our uh, depression and into the disbelief rally once we make that higher low that's what that is for gme um, and I'll show you guys what I mean by that real quick, uh, just in case you are new to the channel because we constantly have new subscribers. So basically what I mean by that is GME is following the overall cycles in psychology where you do a double bottom off anger, a lower low into that with a V-shaped recovery, and then a higher low, which is leading out of your um, disbelief rally. And this is an overall cycle for 
uh, GameStop stock and AMC stock has a similar cycle as well. I talk about it all the time. Basically, you can see the green MACD here. That's our bull cycle. Red MACD here. That's our bear cycle. This is on the macro level. Macro is what you want to look at as an investor, the long term, two years, three years, five years to make a bigger bag because you catch the bigger swings, either um, running it up or shorting it all the way down. So this is what we're looking at for AMC stock. I do believe that we're reaching a bottom and then we're going to be moving back to the upside and GameStop stock. Very, uh, this is AMC reaching a bottom, moving to the upside. This is GameStop reaching a bottom and moving to the upside, leading out of our disbelief or our uh, depression phases. Now, let's go ahead and move into AMC stock and show you guys what's going on for AMC. Again, very similar setup to what we've seen um, for GME stock, but this is a bull flag and GME is in a falling wedge. So we do have this tracked on both TradingView and Weeble for um, GME stock. So you guys can see uh, TradingView right here. Buy orders sitting at about $4.32 and then, of course, 408 that is where the bull flag is leading us. There's a gap fill at $4. Everyone's like, the gap's too small to matter. I'm telling you the gap matters. Liquidity is there. The algo's going to want to push it there. And that's exactly where the bull flag is leading. Very similar setup to what we have on GME stock. We could see one more bearish week again for AMC stock if we do not break above these key levels. So I'll show you guys what we're looking at and the setup that we have. AMC stock needs to break above $4.50. You have to see AMC get above $4.50 using that level of support. That will be when we can break out of this bull flag. This will not happen until at least Tuesday. If we can get a bullish push Monday, then that could possibly happen. But what I'm thinking we're going to see mostly Monday is consolidation. I'm thinking we're going to see consolidation in the beginning half of the day, um, retesting our lows and finding support. I think that's what we're going to see all day Monday. Um, probably even maybe going as low as about $14 or $4.15. I'm thinking in the morning you're going to see something what typical that we normally see when AMC is retesting its lows and building support is a drop, drop down in the morning and then a pop back to the upside during the afternoon. And then you guys can tune in to see if this did track or not. I have predictions for GameStop and um, SPY as well. Um, so I do think we will see us retesting those lows, building support. Um, AMC needs to break above $4.50. This will be on Tuesday, okay? This will be on Tuesday when we could possibly see the breakout. For the breakout on Monday, we'd have to move all the way up to $4.50 immediately um, and have to make a very parabolic move. What most likely is going to happen is we're going to retest here on Monday and then build support. Um, in the later half of the week and then see it pop to the upside. If we do not break above $4.50, you will see a continuation down. Same story as GME. Again, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but I want to tell you guys so you can be prepared for the move. As you guys can see, if AMC does not does not break out of $4.50 this week, it's going to see a rejection to the downside and have to go down to about $4.00. Again, there's buy orders waiting down there, and it's very, very telling that there's buy orders and a gap fill down there. So don't be surprised if AMC goes down to $4, okay? You heard it here first. Do not be surprised if AMC goes down to $4, but then gets a bounce, also making a higher low, forming the bottom, okay? So that's what we're looking at for AMC stock. I believe that the bottom is in. Again, somebody tried to make a play on my words the other day. Um, I believe the bottom is in here at $3.58, but it is currently forming. As you guys can see, it takes longer on the macro. So we're going to come back down, make a higher low, and then move back to the upside. That's what the bull flag is telling me. That's what the technicals are telling me. That's what everything is saying. In my personal opinion, that's what I think we're going to see. Most likely, we are going to see a move down to $4, okay? You're most likely going to see a bearish week this week. That's why my prediction is a red week for AMC stock. And then we'll see a bounce to the upside maybe in the later half of the week, but most likely next week after we retest like $4, maybe like $3.80, but it will still be a higher low, okay? So that's what we're looking at for AMC stock. I don't think we will go any lower than that. I think we uh, this. I think what I have here is exactly what's going to play out. And if that does play out, that would be an inverse head and shoulders. Right here is your shoulder. Right here is your head. And that would form your second shoulder, which would form a beautiful bottom on AMC stock, popping us to the upside, leading us out of our depression phase, which also tracks with the macro as well, showing you guys that the MACD is curling up, and we are going to go into a new bull run on AMC stock. 
again it just went in doubt zoom out macro takes time to play out it is what it is that's why it's the macro that's why people are not successful in the market because they're in and out of it and sometimes you have to look at the bigger picture i think that earnings are going to be absolutely smashing first of all i think we have taylor swift and beyonce numbers coming out seeing a downtrend in the earnings will also be a sign as well seeing amc stock trend down in the earnings means it's going to probably pop up after earnings i know what people say about earnings and amc stock i'm telling you normally what happens for earnings is if a stock rallies in the earnings it normally dumps when earnings happens if a stock dumps in the earnings before earnings comes it normally rallies after i'm thinking amc is going to blow out the water on earnings and beat quarter over quarter because if you look at amc earnings if you look at amc stock earnings it is beaten over quarter over quarter and this is going to be another beat quarter over quarter over quarter over quarter this is going to be another beat short thesis is literally destroyed okay so this is the what everything is lining up fundamentals are lining up technicals are lining up everything is lining up for amc stock to go into a new bull run euphoria tiles type rally again this is not financial advice but also as you guys can see we have multiple gap fills to the upside these gaps are going to get filled forming a inverse head and shoulders down here at the bottom would be nasty setup for us to start moving back to the upside again amc's bottom is forming i believe that the bottom is in at three dollars and 58 cents I believe that we're going to come down to about four dollars and then see a pop to the upside forming this overall inverse head and shoulders i believe that the technicals and fundamentals are lining up and everything is very very clear in what is going to be happening and i believe that if you are seeing this video you will be able to say later on that he was right but time will tell ladies and gentlemen if you found this video informative go ahead and drop a like and leave a comment let me know do you really believe that amc can see a bottom and start moving to the upside good or bad i really want to hear your opinions let me know if you hold amc or gme stock and let me know if you hold bitcoin or ethereum i want to know how many people hold crypto let me know in the comments down below as always i appreciate each and every one of you that watched to the end of this video as always y'all have fun stay safe make money peace out all right, ladies and gentlemen, that was the video. If you found it informative, go ahead and drop a like and leave a comment to help the channel grow. Go ahead and subscribe for more information like this. And as always, I appreciate you if you watch the end of this video. I do have a Discord. It's $50 for a lifetime invite right now, but the price is going up. If you want to get involved in the Discord, you have to hit me up on my email. It's in the description of this video. $50 payment via PayPal or Cash App. Once you make payment, I'll send you the link to give you access to the Discord. I post exclusive trades, technical analysis, and it's exclusive community as well. If you want to be invited, go ahead and hit me up on the email down below. And as always, y'all, have fun, stay safe, make money. Peace out.